Hi, Nathan here again with another 2Tech troubleshooting tutorial. Today we're going to talk about date fields in Adobe Lifecycle. And we're going to show how to customize them and leverage uh, their power for our benefit. So you see here on my form I have uh, a couple of date time fields and a paragraph text field. And I want to show you how in Lifecycle Basically, a date field is a glorified text field that allows um, dates to be chosen using this calendar um, GUI. And when you choose uh, something from the calendar object, it pastes that date back into the text field part of the date field. And uh, the way this is customized is by going into the patterns button here on the object tab and choosing the format you like uh, to display and once you choose that that's the way it's going to look when you uh, exit or choose the date uh, but a couple of things that you can do with this that makes it uh, more valuable is you can have Adobe go ahead and paste in the current date um, when the, the form is launched and that's what I have going on in this first date field right here. We've got uh, the date and time coming in automatically. Now the way we did this was we we just drug a date field to the form and then over here on our value we chose calculated read only and then we chose runtime property and that we chose current date and time. Now this works great. It gives you the current date and time. But the problem is you may not want the current date and time. You may only want the current time or the current date. And this uh, runtime property inserts into the script editor a little form calc script. Form calc is the other scripting language besides JavaScript that Adobe understands. It, it, it puts this form calc script in there that, that paste in the date and time and this is not very customizable at all that's the problem with it and so I wanted to give you that as an example to show you uh, what is already embedded in Adobe and then now I want to show you a way to do it in JavaScript that can give you a little bit more versatility and so in our JavaScript date field you see how we have chosen user entered optional instead of calculated read only and that allows this binding tab to appear and here of course, you can choose if you want to display the date, the time, or both the date and the time. So it's a little bit more versatile. But even at that point, um, nothing's happening except when you when you preview the form. Nothing's happening except the user is then choosing the date he wants. Uh, and maybe you want that automatic date to come in there. Well, there's another way to do it with JavaScript. And so what we can do with JavaScript is we can get the current date without the current time and get that to display. Uh, perfectly in our field with this bit of code right here. So we're going to take this JavaScript code and put it into the txt date to initialize field and once we do that um, our date comes out when we preview the form uh, right in this field and of course if we want to change that or if the end user wishes to change it they can change it and the new date is in there. Uh, one more little trick you can do is we've already shown this in the replace text video that's also available on the website or on YouTube. So we can take the the exit event of a date time field and make things happen based on um, JavaScript that we instruct it to. So if we go to the exit event, I've already got some code in here. And what this does is this is going to take the value of the date time field and place it in line into the paragraph we have here at the point where it says bracket in, in brackets enter date. So let's show how that works. So let's say we want to choose a different date, we want to choose the fifth. Once we choose that, the exit event fires the JavaScript, it pl places the date we chose in line here and then causes that field to hide. And so the text, the JavaScript that uh, that I used in that is found right here 
in this text box. Of course, we could take both these scripts and add them to the doc ready event of the entire form and do away with these text fields altogether to get this date to enter. So let me show you, let me dem demonstrate that real quick. We'll just go ahead and get rid of those and then we'll go into script editor, go to form doc ready event and then we'll paste in these two So what I'm doing is I'm just editing the code to put the, the value of the full date into the paragraph field. And I'm using the TXT paragraph doc ready event. So now without those calculated fields at all, we can preview the form. And when we preview the form automatically, November 3rd, 2011 comes into the form. So this, can, this code can be used in, in a number of different ways, and you don't have to have the date fields. But it's an option. So date and time fields can do a lot of thing. you, uh, things. You can customize them. You can change the way they format. And really, it's better to use JavaScript than it is the, the form calc way, because the form calc is very limited in what it can do. But with JavaScript, you can, you can make the format look whatever you want. You can change these scripts to make it lay out the way you want it and to do the things you want to do. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you learned something. Look at my other videos on YouTube. Remember to check out our website, truetechtroubleshooting.blogspot.com. You can go to the YouTube channel to find uh, related videos about the Adobe Lifecycle. And remember, IT problems are usually simple, but they're never easy. We'll see you next time. Thanks.